Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense. And today I'm going to have a me day. I'm gonna do all of the fun things. I am off today and I will do housework later, but I'm gonna play for now. So I'm gonna take you guys along First with me. is Bath and Body Works. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny store. So I may not record in there, but I will try. I was so excited to see all of the Halloween stuff. It is so, so cute. That um, soap container, the ivy is like an iridescent color. And all of these things are so much better in person. The eye that moves around, the packaging of the vampire blood, the ghoul friend, and the pumpkin carving are so like they have a texture to them. The tops of them are excellent. The wallflower plugs are so detailed. Like, look at the owl and the sparkle on the bottom. Everything is even better in person, so I recommend going to the store to check on them. There is one thing, and it's $36.50. It's this last one with the house. That's really cute, too, the ghost. But this one house reminds me of Stranger Things, and I think that I have to have it. It's $36.50. I'll use that 30% off coupon. Next, I went to TJ Maxx and saw a couple things that were good. That was $30, which is a giant container. They had the Glam Glow there. They had Laneige there. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which I almost got, but it wasn't my exact color. But they had quite a few things there. I don't recommend the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I think that the one from Bath and Body Works is better and just the CeraVe healing ointment is better than the Laneige, but the actual water mask that I showed you is awesome. Vera Bradley pajamas were so soft. It's a short set and it was in the pajamas. Nobody was grabbing them. They had a ton of them. I don't go to the pajamas much, but something told me to and I went and I thought that they were so cute. $19.99 for the full set of them. I thought it was adorable. After this, you're going to also see intimately free people they had quite a few options that was $30 for the full set which I thought was great because normally just a top like that would be $30 in the regular clothing section you could totally wear it for clothing total Starbucks dupes for $7.99 I mean they look exactly this one's like matte with the blue excuse my nasty nails this is like a shiny this this color and this color would be perfect for Halloween you know my love for coffee mugs, so when I saw the Halloween ones came out, I couldn't help myself. I did end up buying one that's kind of hot. There it is, the night owl. I just couldn't help myself. It's so cute. But they have a lot more probably coming in. They had a lot of empty spaces, so I'm sure that's what's coming next is all of the Halloween ones. And this one right here, I just took a picture. That's great for tea. It's double walled and it has a lid. Here's some more cute things that are coming oh look at that it's so cute i can't take it and then this disney uh first i didn't know it was happening and then i'm like wait i have to hold on to it and then you'll see in the background kind of it glows different colors and it says like spooky it's so cute i might have to grab that for halloween great items more to come this candle why didn't i buy this candle do you ever look back at something and you're like why didn't i grab that i should have grabbed that and at the end you'll see a witch and it's so cute these are just little notebooks. I'm a sucker for notebooks, and they were just so cute. I couldn't get enough of them. And this one says J. Um, they're alf monogrammed, alphabetized. They're monogrammed, and it has a little pen inside too. And then this is the a different version of the same print. I originally went looking for Homeworks candles, and while I didn't find any, I did find a bunch of pumpkin ones that just came in. A lot of these, or most of them, are the DW Home, which I do like. I do have a large collection of DW Home, but they are very, very hit or miss on if they smell, if the throw is good at all. This one I almost grabbed because it's a wood wick. I might go back for that campfire pumpkin because even if the smell isn't as strong anything with that wood crackle noise in the fall gets me every single time I did run into TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'll show you what I got. I didn't get a ton. Um, I always get dog toys and my dog is obsessed with frisbees. That is her life and so I grabbed this one. It's like squeaky somewhere. So she will probably tear this apart by the end of the day and then I got uh, this 
Philosophy Nature Najar Gentle Detoxifying Cleanser with Agave, and this it was $10. There is another one that I like um, that's green, and it was $14.99, so I thought I'd try this for a little bit less. And I usually use the CeraVe, but CeraVe, CeraVe, uh, day to day but in the shower I have one and I usually like to get a little one so it doesn't take up too much room and you guys know I don't need another coffee mug but I mean how could you resist this it is so cute it was $4.99 and it says night owl and it has an owl on ooh, an owl on both sides and it's just so cute I couldn't say no then I went to Marshall's which is kind of right across the street I just got a Life is Good shirt for work that's like really cute actually. It says um, pizza is essential and what does it say? Pizza is essential any way you slice it and it's kind of like an old fashioned pizza box which I thought was super cute and it says Life is Good at the top. Very soft as well. And then, okay, I've been wearing makeup my whole life like I don't leave the house without my face on but I've never tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette and I saw that it was popping up at Marshall's for $24.99 so I grabbed it. I will let you guys know maybe it's just one of those rite of passage things and it's really not that good but I'll let you know either way if that was good or dud. Um, I grabbed the Stila Beauty Boss lip gloss in Win Win. It just looked really pretty, and I'll let you know how I like this. This was only $6.99. Then I grabbed this. Oh, this is really cute. This is the Mini Mac Matte Lipstick Breathing Fire. And let's see if I can get it opened with one hand because this color. It packs a punch, you guys. I do love the MAC Mini Lipsticks because I have tiny lips and it it's the perfect size for my lips. Oh, oh, let's see if I can get it. Okay. May not have the best camera quality, but look at that bright pink color. I mean, is that just not gorgeous? I couldn't say no. Okay, so I get that. And then one more, one more, one more. Where are you? I got a regular size in this color called Faux, and it's such a pretty fall color. I just couldn't resist it. Isn't that so pretty? Let's see if I can open it with one hand too. People are looking at me like, what is that girl doing recording in the parking lot? Okay. Isn't that pretty? It's like the perfect fall color. Let me put it on right now. Hi guys. Very pretty, don't mind uh, Mount Peak right there. I called it Mount Peak because it took forever to peak. Um, I like it, I think it's pretty. It feels really nice, is this a satin? Okay, the Max, MAC Satin Lipstick is my favorite. Their matte version to me gets a little too matte, but I do like their satin version a lot. But let's head to uh, Trader Joe's and I probably will do the haul when I get home but my husband is working from home, so I have to be quiet. So that's why I did this little haul in the car, but I'll see you I'm guys back soon. I'm home from my shopping adventures. I did go to Trader Joe's. You may be wondering where I am because this does not look like my kitchen, and it's not, but my husband's working. So I'm actually in my master bathroom, which sounds kind of weird that I have food in here, but I promise that I'll put it back as soon as I'm done doing my haul, which first let's get started. Uh, cheese sticks, cheddar. I thought I'd give it a try. My favorite muffins in the world, the cinnamon coffee cake muffins that are gluten free, that don't, don't knock them till you try them. Best muffins in the entire world. You bring these to anybody and they will love you forever. Also the gluten free double chocolate muffins are also equally delicious. I grabbed this as new. This is the garlic sauce Thai noodles. And it's microwavable, easy, like if I need a quick meal. And I've been craving this, but I don't like to go to, where do we go? I forgot what Thai restaurant we go to, but we always get it delivered here and it ends up being so expensive. So I'm hoping this curbs my like urge for Thai noodles without having to break the bank. This is the way more chocolate chip cookies. These are really good because they have way more chocolate chips. Like seriously, that's a lot of chocolate chips. 
they're delicious they're like small so you can have a couple of them but you really feel like you're getting a chocolate chip cookie i cannot stand chocolate chip cookies that have like three chocolate chips in them they should be a plain cookie with three chocolate chips that's what they should be called i get some sweet potatoes for dinner tonight um i get little ones i didn't see the big ones so i just grabbed little ones but hopefully they'll work the same I also grabbed this, the Power of Vitamin C Organic Juice Blend. It has pineapple, mango, lemon juice, and cherry powder as vitamin C. I don't know. It's new. I try it. You guys know I try everything from Trader Joe's that could possibly be new. This is the Honey Aleppo Sauce, a sweet, savory, tangy, and slightly spicy all-purpose sauce. I'm going to put this on my chicken tonight because I bought chicken, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is a summer staple at the Trader Joe's. Uh, milk chocolate smashing s'mores. You just put it in the microwave for four seconds and it's a s'more and it's delicious. And it's not messy. These I do love and I love for charcuterie trays. They're orange slices. My sister-in-law actually got me onto these and they are delicious. They're really, really sweet. So I cut them like if they're on a charcuterie tray, I'd cut them in half. But they are so good. They're only $1.99 too. So these are great. Also, I got these brioche toast, which I love this. Um, I think that I get a dip for this, but I'm not sure. But my husband loves dips and to use these toast little things. So I use those all the time. I got the Synergy Raw Kombucha. I was super thirsty. I needed something cold. I had cold water in the car, but literally from the walk just to Trader Joe's to my car. It's like 96 degrees and it was boiling hot. I mean, boiling hot, hot, hot. Uh, the gentleman who checked me out told me these are delicious, the mo movie theater popcorn, so I will have a movie night and try these. I took my sister's Downton Abbey movie, the first one. Um, it's still sealed, so she never watched it. I think she watched it on her phone. But anyway, I am going to watch that, so maybe I'll use that. I did go without getting flowers, and I was so proud of myself, even though it's so tempting every single time. But... I walked past these dried lavenders and it smelled so amazing. Um, I can't, you guys, it is the most amazing smell. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so good. I think I'm just gonna put it, I'll send you a picture. I think I'm just gonna put it like on this shelf and I'll show you what it looks like. We did redid our bathroom. I put it on Instagram, but maybe I'll snap in a picture. Um, this is the sweet pull apart Aloha rolls, like Hawaiian rolls. Everything but the bagel crackers, they're staple, have them every time. I got this milk chocolate truffle bar, just looked interesting. Oh, this I got, this looks good. Garlic bread cheese, um, seasoned with garlic powder and baked golden brown. Microwave for 30 seconds or sa saute, serve as it is or with your favorite tomato sauce. So I thought this would be really good with some crackers. This is the organic baked chicken I got. I'm going to use the sauce to put on this tonight, so we'll see how that turns out. And with that and the sweet potato, I'm going to make the asparagus saute with onions and mushrooms. So hopefully dinner will be delicious. I feel like we haven't been eating like enough vegetables, so I'm trying to like incorporate more. This is chicken sausage breakfast burrito. Just got it for my husband for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, he loves the pork belly, so I get him the pork belly. I don't even know how he cooks it. This pasta, spaghetti, whatever, and I'm going to botch this. Keiko e Pepe. Keiko e Pepe. I don't know, but it's like fettuccine Alfredo kind of, but even more delicious. So I get this, and I get the new gnocchi. That's the same. Let's see what it tastes like. Pimento cheese dip. He can put this on the brioche, crackers, whatever. Um, and then I just got us, uh, I got him the tarragon chicken salad wrap and me the turkey club wrap, which the turkey club wrap with the sun-dried tomatoes is so delicious. But I got this for lunch for us because um, it's already three o'clock. I feel like I like the day, my days off go by so fast. Tell me if anybody else feels like that. And last but not least, uh, the watermelon cucumber cooler, which is one of the best drinks I've ever had in my entire life. And if you go to Trader Joe's for one thing this summer, besides the s'mores and the muffins, I would go for this because it is so good and so refreshing on a summer day. You can even like, if, you, if it's too sweet, because it does have 90 calories for eight ounces. If it's too sweet, you could even do like half water, half of this, and it'll be like 
still amazingly refreshing and delicious. So I highly recommend. That's it. Uh, let me put these groceries away and see what happens next with my day. So I'm refilling my laundry and I just realized, well, I realized a long time ago, but I never saw it until now. Um, I put one in for like a year, even in large loads and extra large loads. And I just saw this. So they may have had people questioning it that they put it right when you open the package. But I was watching somebody's YouTube or Instagram and they put two in and I'm like, I supposed to put two in? And so I researched it and I definitely was. But that's what that is. This is empty. So I have to refill that too or get a new one of that. And this right here in my laundry room are where <laughs> all of the spare socks go. And then every like week or so I empty all of it and then I match them together and it usually gets pretty low, but this is called my Dobby bin because it's just the one sock of everything. Then I'll put this in, get a new one out. Let's go with, I always wait till Publix has them buy one, get one free. And then I bring, get a bunch at one time. Now I'm going to relax for a half an hour or so, read my Kindle, and drink this new Nitro Pepsi. I'll let you know how it is. We're going to have soup to juice. I usually strip our bedding on Sundays, but we have plans on Sunday, so I'm going to get it done today on a Thursday. I just took a quick shower and now I'm going to take a nice relaxing bubble bath. Okay, and then after my baths, I always use this shower foamer mango and hibiscus. It smells amazing and I just foam it all over the tub. And then I take like a scrub brush like this and I scrub it and then it's all clean for the next time. Okay, after I shower, I usually look like this because I wash my face in the shower or in the bath. Um, I've been using this and I just ran out. It's this really great earthy smell. I can't explain it other than earthy, but I really do like it. And it was, um, I think I get this on sale at Ulta, like one of those flash sales for only like $8, but they, it was 15 at TJ Maxx. So I got that other kind today. This is one step facial cleanser with spirulina extract. I don't know. But with that said, I never get off like all of the eye makeup and so I use these reusable cotton pads let me get this and I have a ton of them <laughs> and they come out clean and white every single time and I have like all my mascara on them I use them for everything and I just put them in this little bag here close it up and put it in the wash with my towels and it comes out perfect every time I haven't had to use a cotton round or a uh, little, what do they call it? Those little puff, white puffs? What are those called? I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, I haven't had to use those except for like my toes or my nails to take off nail polish in a long time. Um, so I just take this. I have this simple micellar cleansing water and I'll take this stuff off my eyes. And I did the um, Philosophy One Step Microderm Abrasion scrub thing I did that on my face and then look at what to keep off oh it's gross the eye makeup never comes off but it does with this so I will do this and then I will put on this mask it will be in my favorites but it is very expensive but I will say it'll probably I've used it at least 20 times and it barely looks like it's gone I went to um this fancy hotel I didn't pay for it my husband's company did and 
the, I think it was a JW Marriott. It was beautiful. It was in Marco Island and we got free facials like the company paid for them. And she used this and it was so good. And my skin felt like a baby's butt. And I was like, what is this? Like, is it just the actual facial that made it feel that way? So I just took a chance cause it smells so good. And I bought it. Let me grab it. It is called the Emin eminence organic skincare they do have it on amazon but i haven't seen that this actual mask it got like messed up on the bottom but it's the coconut cream mask you do have to like coconut <laughs> so if you don't like coconut i'd skip this but well, i've used it so many times and it's barely gone and i just take a little bit it says on like uh damp skin i think a few drops of water and apply over entire face so let me get a few drops of water hold on I just made sure it was like kind of a little wet drops. And I just take it, make sure your hands are clean, obviously. And it's like clumpy, almost like there's coconut in it. Well, obviously Jessica, there's coconut in it. It's called a coconut curry mask, hello. Um, but it is a little bit chunky, <laughs> but it just is so good. I can't explain. I don't know what it does. But it says, uh, mix a small amount of product in your hand with a few drops of water and apply evenly over the entire face. The neck, the decollete can be treated if desired. Allow to dry for 5-10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water. And use a face cloth if desired. Use one to two times per week or as often as desired. So... I will do this and then I will be back in 10 minutes. I usually only do this twice a week because I'm only off twice a week. And uh, my night, like my whole day is way different when I have to work because I'm, I'm at work all day and then I come home. So this is like my treat every day that I have off. Okay, it's been like 10 minutes. I take a microfiber towel. I have a bunch of these um, from Amazon and they wash really nicely and come out really soft. And so I will just take this off and then I will put on um, my Vici 89, which is the best thing in the entire world. I think everybody in the world should be using this. Um, and uh, what else? Um, my Vici 89 eye stuff I will put on. And I love this. This is the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Treatment. And I just think it works really good like around the eyes where the crow's feet are and that's it.